Today I am testing the Galaxy Note 8 versus the brand new Galaxy S9 Plus. So let's see if that new processor has enough to take out last year's champ. Alright, so when I say last year's champ, the Galaxy S8 took on contenders like the Pixel 2 and 1. So now that it's going against its own predecessor, it makes things a little bit more interesting. Um, I'm a big fan of both of these phones. When the Note 8 came out, it actually blew my mind with the amount of battery life you get off of this bad boy. Uh, one of the big selling points on that phone, and I don't think that they talked about it enough. When we look at the stats of these devices, the display on the new Galaxy S9 Plus is 6.2 inches, whereas the display on the Galaxy Note 8 is 6.3 inches, so it's still slightly bigger. Uh, storage capacity that came in the phone uh, is 64 gigabytes for both devices. The rear camera, 12 megapixels for both of them. However, the new Galaxy S9 Plus has the capability of doing 960 frames per second in a video, which is unheard of for most action cameras, let alone a cell phone. So I think that's one of the biggest selling points. Uh, if you're gonna talk about this phone, you have to talk about the frames per second. 960, it's at 720p, so it's not quite at that full 1080p, full HD resolution, but still extremely impressive. Another talking point on these bad boys is their battery life. The Galaxy S9 Plus has a larger battery at 3500 milliamps per hour, whereas the Galaxy Note 8 has 3300 milliamps per hour. Uh, I'd say the big difference here is probably the space. The Note 8 has to have space for the stylus, whereas the S9 Plus does not. So I would say if you got the space, might as well throw in some battery. The RAM is exactly the same on both of these devices, six gigabytes. That was the downfall for the Galaxy S8 Plus when I tested them against each other. Uh, it, it was a big loss when it came to the RAM at four gigabytes versus six. So the S9 has matched the Note 8 in that aspect. Both of them have the fingerprint on the back. The Note 8 has it directly next to the camera, which a lot of people have complained about. In my personal opinion, it's actually not as cumbersome as you may think it would be. It's actually pretty easy to locate and use whenever you need it. Um, but I think it was a huge complaint for a lot of people that originally started to use the phone before they had you know, a long-term experience with it. But the S9 actually moves that underneath the camera. So that's not in a bad position. I think it'll work just fine for what its intention is. The Note 8 is still running Android Nougat at 7.1, so it is much more outdated than the new Android 8.0 that comes in on the Galaxy S9 Plus, so I am excited to get that version on the Note 8 when it comes out. Uh, the S8 Plus has already received this software update, so it is ahead of the game when it comes to uh, what version of Android it's running. Just so you know the difference between the two, uh, the Note 8 originally came out September 22nd of last year, so 2017, whereas this device just came out last month, March 16th of 2018. Also big news for the Galaxy S9 is it has retained the 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack. So I think Samsung has seen how many people have complained about the loss of it with other devices, namely Apple, 
And I think that's one of their biggest selling points to say, well, we still have it. Um, in my opinion, yeah, you could go Bluetooth whenever you want, but I like having the capability of being able to use any headset that's available. So I'm glad they kept that on the Galaxy S9. Of course, the Note 8 has one as well. When it comes to processors on these American spec phones, the Galaxy Note 8 is running last year's Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 octa-core chipset. Uh, so four of the chips are running at 2.35 gigahertz and four of them are running at 1.9 gigahertz cryo CPUs. Um, the Adrenodes 540 is the GPU. If we take a look at the Galaxy S9 Plus, it is running also a Qualcomm Snapdragon. This is this year's model, which is the 845. That's also an octa-core chipset. Four of the cores are running at 2.7 gigahertz Cryo 385 Gold, and four of the cores are running at 1.7 gigahertz Cryo 385 Silver CPUs. And the GPU on this one is the Adreno 630. They both have 64-bit uh, architecture. The thickness is slightly, uh, the, the Note 8 is slightly thicker at 8.6 millimeters versus the Galaxy S9 Plus's 8.5 millimeters. And the Galaxy Note 8 comes in slightly heavier at 195 grams versus 189 grams. And of course, both phones are waterproof up to 30 minutes in a depth of 1.5 meters. Um, so it's IP68 rated. So that's about five feet. Both of them have a super AMOLED screen. The Note 8 has 522 pixels per inch, whereas the uh, Galaxy S9 Plus has 531 pixels per inch. Both have the same screen resolution of 1440 by 2960. And the Galaxy S9 Plus finishes 261,470. That is impressive as the Note 8 continues to finish. Wow. So it was <laughs> 60,000 points different. Let's see what it won in. So the CPU. the GPU the UX and the memory every single metric the Note 8 was destroyed in good job Samsung, you outdid yourself <laughs>